Hello, we magically transported to the backyard of Zorab Kuriashvili's winery uh, from his vineyards. And now we are going to taste his white wines that are exported. You might have seen this amazing bottle at the website Nino Vino in Switzerland. And if you see this, order it immediately. Uh, even though I didn't taste them yet, I'm sure it's a great wine. So Zura is going to tell us uh, about how he makes his wine. So what's up in the cellar? Okay, as you are aware, uh, we are uh, natural winemakers and uh, in our wine cellar we are producing wines with the old uh, Georgian uh, technology, uh, which is quivery uh, making technology. Uh, we are making wines only in quivery and, um, uh, for example, Trane uh, is in quivery. Uh, for uh, four or five months, and Rakatiteli, uh, together with skin and stems, is together uh, is uh, eight nine months. After that, we are opening and we are transferring uh, to the steel tanks. Oh, I'm excited to try Rakatiteli now because like nine months is quite a lot. So let's give it a try. Yes. Also, the label is very interesting so the quivery shape who is the yes, author of uh, the I, I am uh, the author of this label it was created in 2011 uh, and it was the first label uh, in the world uh, uh, with the quivery shape wow that's exciting so you're also the painter or architect or yes. like do you have any artistic background yes mm -hmm. i i am <laughs> Some like yeah, li real life moments, no problem. Yeah. So about the background, what have you studied? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, uh, I, I was uh, doing painting as well, and uh, uh, that's how that uh, this is uh, coming uh, to me uh, from the childhood and. Uh, uh -huh. So while we are tasting our Ercaciteli, probably we should learn more about the label because it's quite remarkable, as I already said. So it has a quivery shape. Yes. And what's so special about it? Like, did you draw it yourself? Or? I know that uh, uh, quivery labels, uh, quivery label, it was painted in 2011. Idea uh, came uh, before. And I was thinking uh, which type of label uh, I should make for my wines because it's not the first label for my wine. The first labels it were in 2002, 2003, and after that I was keeping these labels. But then it was changed because uh, when the uh, I put the quivers in my wine cellar, I decided to make this type of label because uh, it was kind of unique and uh, there is something special in this type of uh, labels. Uh, uh, beside that, uh, uh, yes, of course, of course, with big pleasure. Nine months on skins, it's not a joke. Without uh, without filtration. And such a light color. Yes. Oh my God. Whew. It's such an aromatic Rkacitele, just wonderful. How old is it? What uh, this is from 2018. Uh -huh. So still quite mm. young, but yep. pretty. These aromas pretty. are coming from uh, uh, from Artana vineyards because we have, as I mentioned, uh, we have two mm. vineyards where we have the Rkaziteli. For example, if you will taste uh, Rkaziteli from uh, Kurtgelauri vineyard, the taste is totally different because um, itself the uh, place and mountainous area uh, making this uh, type of aromas and the sun is coming in a different shape. And uh, but for uh, Kaziteli uh, from Gurtre Lauri, it's a little bit different. Beside that, this is a uh, nine year old vineyard, and uh, Kaziteli from Gurtre Lauri vineyard is a uh, 45 year old vineyard. 45, wow, that's crazy. Wait, just some smokiness there, so like very interesting. And again, a lot of fruit, but a lot of dry fruit already, so not. Uh, not the fresh peaches, but kind of peaches jam. Actually, there are some wonderful nectarines in front of us and peaches, so no wonder. Rkaziteli is smelling like them sometimes. And what about your background? Have you, like, very making wine uh, always, or like how your wine story started? Okay, uh, the, uh, in Gacheti, I hope that everyone knows that most of the people are doing wine and. Uh, 
uh, our family was uh, one of them as well because uh, when I was a kid uh, my grandfather was teaching uh, he was teaching me how to make wine I was helping him then my father and I uh, during the after collapsing of the Soviet Union uh, when it was not even uh, fuel we were going walking eight kilometers uh, downhill working and after that coming back uphill eight kilometers again and uh, this made me something you know that um, to take care more about wine more about grape and to to start more about uh, and to understand more about Georgian winemaking and uh, it was one of the main issue uh, I start winemaking. Then after that, uh, uh, I, I was uh, with exchange program in United States and I graduated their course. Uh, and then I start working uh, uh, as a uh, seller master there uh, Where exactly in, Mirasu, in Mirasu Winery in, uh, in California, in San Jose. Oh. Um, uh, then uh, I was, uh, then I came back uh, uh, and uh, I wanted to uh, share this knowledge which I got in the United States to in Georgia about wine tourism, about winemaking and uh, uh, I was as well in UC Davis and uh, when I, uh, when they tasted my wines, it was Scots Italian Saperavi, they told me in UC Davis not to lose this taste because all wines are the same but not this type of wine and they really wanted to have this test in the United States. That's why I decided to continue with that and it's great there that we you are. did. It's great that you did. Cheers to that. Thank you very much. So here we are, we continue and I really wanted to ask you to open this Mtsvana because I'm very curious about it. From which vineyard does it come from? Uh, this is coming from uh, uh, Manavi, uh, because uh, me and my friends, we are, we have uh, these Mtswana vineyards and taking care of this. And um, that's why, you know, that uh, uh, in Kacheti we have Kacheti and Mtswana uh, as well. Like in Kartli there is Gorulim Mtswana, but uh, I like more uh, this taste of uh, Manavi Mtswana. I have itself in my new vineyard, uh, uh, but this is not the same. Taste. Of course. So the new vineyard is in Art in, in uh, uh -huh. Tel Aviv region, as I mentioned before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, of course. So this is basically Manavi is considered to be one of the best uh, micro zones for growing Mitzvane. Yeah. It's another thing I wanted to ask. I see here the raw wine glass. So does it mean that you have traveled to this wine fair? Uh, yes, I I was uh, I'm traveling um, a lot and uh, trying to introduce my uh, wine cellar uh, and my winery to the different places. And beside that, uh, I am uh, uh, like for example, my wines are sent to uh, U.S. Now it's uh, Sommelier Choice Award. Uh, uh, it's a competition, and oh beside gosh. that, there is USA Wine Rating, and my wines are there. I'm expecting so now. Let's have a <laughs> drink to that. And what about Switzerland? Have you been in some uh, wine fair in Switzerland? In Switzerland, I was uh, uh, in uh, uh, Expo Vina in 2017, uh, where I met my uh, uh, exporters of my uh, mm. uh, wines. And um, from that period, uh, and they they came uh, they came to visit my uh, wine cellar, and after that. Uh, uh, we are sending our wines to Switzerland, and I hope that uh, Swiss people they are enjoying our wines. So then, to your success, it's thank a you very much. Very and good uh, uh, last year uh, our Mtswane got the gold medal, and this year we got a medal as well. Oh. So the award winning Mtswane is just wow. I mean, it's so tender, even though it's amber. It's kind of very smooth and has like this has quite a high acidity, I suppose, but I don't feel it too much because of the smoothness. Tannins are very, in Georgian we say dalagebuli, kind of, they, they are very well settled. 13.2%, guys, beware. Like you have a couple of glasses and then you're somewhere in the other yes. dimension. Very, very good wine. Thank you very much.
And this, as I mentioned, this is unfiltered wine as well. What? Yeah, transparent. Every magic. So now we are switching to Saperavi, and this is quite a special one because, as I know, it had longer skin contact. Am I right? Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Saperavi 2017 uh, had a, a nine month skin contact. And uh, usually it is uh, for Saperavi? Usually for Saperavi, people are making, like, for example, like two months, maybe some people a uh, few weeks, and after that they are transferring only wine uh, to the steel tanks. But uh, I had, for example, in 2015, Saparavi, which was with skins and stems together. And, uh, but uh, this Saparavi was with skins. Uh, and um, uh, the Saparavis which I'm making are always uh, with skin eight or nine months. And especially for uh, uh, my wines, because the wine price is, uh, for the premium wine is special. Uh, I'm using a special... Uh, cork as well which is uh, coming from uh, France but it mm -hmm. was uh, uh, made see? yes mm -hmm. sure uh, with a different uh, kind of cork. Mm -hmm. uh, like ionization and all this came like a uh, different type of uh, cleaning materials that uh, to have uh, this uh, uh, saving on the shelf the wine uh, itself for five years and more but for Saparavi, five years is actually only the beginning? Or yes, that's why the five years only the beginning. That's why it's, uh, this cork is uh, special. Guarantee. And it's, uh, it's a guarantee that, uh, for example, uh, uh, I, I, I had uh, sent uh, Saparavi uh, to Switzerland, uh, which have these corks as well, and people, they, 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 they can save for a few years, for like 10 years, 15 years and more as well. Okay. On the shelf. Let's try it then. <laughs> oh, such a dark color. Oh my god. Enjoy. Oh, I will. I hope you will love it. Because mm. this is uh, very special and taste and aromas mm -hmm. and smell. Aroma is already very special. It's again, it's smooth, so no aggressive start. Which I would have expected from the wine for nine months. Nine months, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it smells like an aged wine already. Probably because of higher alcohol, it's kind of. Yes, uh, it's getting stabilized. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, a lot of spice. Very pleasant acidity. Mm very dark fruits a bit of woodiness as well somehow something like you know already like not only fruity notes but the notes of uh, proper aging are there because uh, this uh, skin it gives itself this this type of taste mm -hmm. and what was your motivation behind this decision you know that uh, I like uh, experiments as you understood that um, with the labels, with the corks, with the winemaking. I love experiments, different type of experiments. Like, for example, uh, there is not one year that uh, something was not changed, maybe in the label, in the winemaking, or in the cork, or in the bottle, or something like that. Always I'm trying to find something new and to provide something new to the people. Wow, that's... Interesting approach, but the what is what remains stable is quality, obviously. No, this <laughs> quality, quality. For example, for Saperavi, I got this one that this is uh, what I wanted, mm -hmm. and I'm continuing doing this type of wine. But uh, that's why I'm uh, now I will switch for Kisi, for Hihui, for other wines as well. Uh, for example, you you know my Mzwane as well, mm -hmm. and you know Katsiteli. It's a different style, uh, Catitelli and Mtsuane, it's, uh you cannot make both wines in the same way. For example, Catitelli you are doing with the skin and stems, Mtsuane you are doing with only skins, as well separate. So you need a lot of experience to kind of know yes. all of this. Sure. Great, great job. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much.